Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, which is your station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mwangi Francis. I'm taking you through chemistry form 4. And today we are going to discuss uh, radioactivity. This is lesson 2. Previously we have introduced ourselves to what is radioactivity. Welcome to today's lesson. So by the end of this lesson, we will have been able to do the following. Distinguish between radioactivity and radioactive decay. We'll also be able to state and explain the different types of radioactivity. And lastly, we'll be able to name the particles emitted during radioactive decay and state their properties. So, we, inf we emphasized and said that if the nucleate of an atom is not stable, it disintegrates to achieve stability. So the spontaneous disintegration of a radioactive uh, isotope is what we refer to as a radioactive decay. This spontaneous disintegration yields a new nucleate and particles as well as energy. So the energy can be tapped to be used in other ways and the particles emitted gives us the different types of radioactive decay. So, what are the types of radioactive decay? So, the emissions of the most common forms of spontaneous radioactive decay are alpha, we also have beta, and we have gamma radiation. So, alpha particle is actually the nucleus of a helium atom, which has the following composition, mass number four and atomic number two. Don't forget mass number is the sum of protons and neutrons. It is atomic number two with two protons and two neutrons. Hence, two plus two giving us four. In addition to that, beta particle uh, is an electron which is emitted within the nucleus of an unstable nucleate that does not constitute or come from the electrons which revolve from the energy level. It has the following composition, which is similar to an electron. Mass number is negligible, therefore it is zero, and it has a charge of negative one. Gamma ray, that is a radiation. A radiation has no mass, it has no atomic number. So when gamma radiation takes place, that is the form of energy which is produced during disintegration. So what is alpha decay? Alpha decay occurs when the nucleus emits an alpha particle and therefore the number of protons and electrons will change. Alpha particle has mass number 4 and atomic number 2. So the new nucleate formed will decrease with the same same number of the uh, alpha particles which it has lost. So let's take an example of rubidium, atomic number 88, mass number 226. Uh, rubidium undergoes radio, uh, that is alpha decay by omitting alpha particle and that makes it to lose two protons and two neutrons. Hence the atomic number decreases by two and mass number decreases by four to give us the new nucleate. On the other hand, beta decay. This occurs when beta particle is lost from the nucleus or from the nucleate of an unstable atom. Carbon-14, for instance, undergoes beta decay to give us a new nucleate, which is uh, nitrogen, atomic number 7. The atomic number increases by 1, and the mass number does not change. Why is this so? Remember the composition of a beta particle. The mass number is zero, but atomic number negative one. Hence, the new nucleate increases with one. This is to ensure that the mass number on the reactant side and atomic number is equivalent to atomic number and mass number on the product side, since this is a nuclear reaction. So examples of beta and alpha decay. So what we have here, we have uranium uh, 235, atomic number 92. It undergoes alpha decay to give us 
thorium atomic number 90 and mass number 231 better decay of uranium yields you, you re, yields a new nucleide whose mass number does not change but the atomic number increases by 1 gamma decay of uranium yields an a new creed which has the same same composition and uh, this is because there is no change in the mass number and atomic number so having been able to understand uh, the concept of today's lesson all of this lesson first to do that we need to answer the following questions write the equation for the better emission of carbon 14 so when carbon 14 undergoes beta decay which nucleates or what are the products that are formed question two find the missing um, starting material that is we have unstable nucleate x with mass number a and atomic number z but it undergoes a radioactive decay or beta decay to give us a new nucleate after losing a beta particle so what are the uh, what is the composition of the starting material so to get this information more and to be able to build up on your content content it is very important for you to look at the following books that is chemistry uh, secondary chemistry students book 4 uh, which was uh, published by Kenya literature bureau or secondary chemistry uh, that is by M. Patel, published by English Press Limited. For more information concerning radioactivity and lessons that follow, you can reach us through our SMS number, which is on your screen. You can as well as contact us on our Facebook page or on our Twitter handle at erimu tv underscore ke. So make sure you are tuned into next lesson. And may God bless you.